Okay. Emily? Hey. <laughs> hi, hi. How are you all doing? I need to get quickly set up before we carry on. Three people already liked it? That's crazy. Huh. Alright guys, um, so uh, I'm going to cook. <laughs> I'm going to cook right now um, and I'm going to basically, can I see the chat? Mm. I'm mostly going to be cooking for you guys. Oh my god, I'm so ready. Um, I'm, the main thing I'm nervous about doing this is that one, I haven't got like the equipment, I don't know how it's going to sound, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to end up cutting myself or something like that, which I'm kind of nervous about, but we're going to do something anyway. Hey Hayley, hey Emily, what you making? Uh, I'm making my chilli, I'm making chilli um, with a few things, um, I can't really get all out on display because how am I? phone is this might be like a disaster I'm not too sure I just wanted to do something I was watching Mark Plyer uh, do that uh, guitar solo uh, well that cover and I was thinking well he's doing something what's scaring him so what can I do what's gonna scare me and I like cooking but I just don't know it's one of it's finally here hey hey Brienne display your chilies I've only got right now I'm actually using uh, jalapenos because uh, I'm cooking for me and my girlfriend. If we use chilies, then it's kind of like too hot, if that makes sense. But um, I've got loads of spices. Um, I've got bacon as well. Because if you want to have any kind of flavor to the stuff you do, you got to have bacon. I just got to check if I can actually read your comments um, with my thing. Cause I'm not, ah, there it is. Now I can see. Give me two seconds, then I'll be on that a bit more. It's on my iPad. To keep me up to date with who's talking to me and all that. If I do miss you um, and you guys, uh, it, it, for example, you're on here and I don't notice it, uh, I do apologize. <laughs> I'm literally just trying to see what I can do. But anyway, um, so I've got all fresh ingredients onions, I got peppers, I got loads of other crap, which I is over there right now. I use it when I start cooking. I use my wok. This is my wok. I use this for freaking everything. Uh, and yeah, just please, if you are a cook out there and you are obviously new to my stream or anything like that, please don't hate me for my style or how I cook. I'm not a good chef. Um, my, my technique is terrible. Uh, I literally, I'm just lazy and I don't want to cook for you guys. But yeah, uh, while we are doing this, but like again, I should not be doing this, holding it like this, but I just do. Um, I feel a bit more, how can I say, secure, if that makes sense. Always make sure you sharpen your knife. Fuck me. If you've ever done cooking where you've got a really blunt knife, it is the, can I, can you see there? I'll cut there. It is the fucking worst. Uh, i got a video coming up later on too, but uh, yeah. I love cooking, I hate this stuff. Hey, it's all good. I know it's going to be haters, but I don't really care. I'm just doing it because I need to cook something today for my girlfriend. She's bloody working it all day. Um, and the fact is, I'm at home and she needs to eat. Mr. Whiskey, oh, thank you. What are you cooking? I am cooking chili. It's mainly for my girlfriend. Um, I will be, yeah, again, do not copy my techniques when it comes to chopping or anything like that, please. I am freaking terrible. I just like flavor. I'm not good at, uh, I'm not good when it comes to technique or anything like that. I'm like really focusing right now as well because I have a feeling that, you know when you do stuff live, you sort of know that something's gonna go wrong. I gotta be like you, I'm too soft skinned. Hmm, I haven't made chili in ages. Chili's so good. Best boyfriend right there. Exactly, quickest way to a lady's heart is through her belly. Um, what shall I do now? Yeah, so onions are done. I usually chop them kind of big, because I think when I, let's say, when I cook them really thin, or cut them very, very thin, again, this is a fucking waste right now, but I'm lazy. So please, again, don't hate me for this, but I'm just lazy when it comes to this kind of stuff. 
Try and get all the seeds out if you can when it comes to it all. You don't want to bite into these fuckers. It is the worst thing ever when you bite into them. I usually put like taco seasoning in it. I'll show you what seasoning I've got, 100%. Mincing, whiskey. What do you mean mincing? Am I like dancing? Am I doing something else? What do you mean? Brent, are you okay? Hmm. I'm as bad as cooking as one can get. The microwave is my best friend. Tell you what, right now, <laughs> I can't really show my ghetto setup right now, but I have got, uh, my phone obviously is uh, doing this right now. And I uh, have, <laughs> my pan is upside down on the microwave right here. I got my phone taped to the light what I've used here. You see how that's bright? So like, yeah. Um, but are you okay, Bren? I'm not as good mood, I'm almost in tears. Sorry, but I'm leaving. No worries, Bren. You're welcome to stay, obviously, sis. I mean, we're just chilling here, obviously. You're just gonna watch me do terrible, terrible techniques and all that kind of thing, but yeah. I hope you're having a better day later on. You can always DM me as well, sis, you know that. A little smaller, but do you broski? What, what, what? What do you mean? What do you mean, do I, do I broski? I'm sort of confused by that. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so I wanted to do something today. I've done a little video as well, um, which I hope you guys check out, which is gonna be out like in five minutes. Uh, so my timing's really bad, but I've got to do something. I've got to get this cooking done. I just thought I've always wanted to do a cooking with whiskey thing, but my, my mindset was I need to have good equipment. Like I need to get a good camera. I need to get this and that and I literally was, woke up this morning and I thought, why? Why do I need to do that? Because it's like, I don't know, it's, for me, you just got to do it. You got to do something. You can't wait for the perfect opportunity. You've got to make do with what you got. Especially nowadays. Like, people will spend a long ass time when it comes to making videos and all that kind of stuff, and I respect the people who do that. I mean, I I just haven't got the time to make complete, hardcore cooking videos. You know, we have like different angles and that kind of thing. I just haven't got the time for that. Especially with, with how it is nowadays with the um, demonetization stuff. Like, for me, it's scary. Because you'll see people who are putting so much effort into their work uh, with their channel and their videos and all that kind of thing and then for it to get demonetized straight away for no reason, it's scary, man. I'm making an omelette with cheese and green onions. That sounds amazing, actually, Majestic. Do you know that Gordon Ramsay, whenever he hires a chef or interviews a chef, the first thing he does, and this might be different now, but the first thing he does is get them to cook an omelette. Apparently that's what my um, my chef tutor taught me. Taught me even. What am I wait, making? Aspen, hey. I'm making chili, but right, super quick, super lazy chili. As I said, it's not really gonna be the best for, um, for uh, video quality or standards. But effort. I'm trying to make food for my girlfriend before she gets back. If you judge me for it, how dare you? But still, it's all good. Oh, mum's making that today, and yeah, that makes sense. Cool. I said, I actually need to get some sleep um, since boyfriend is working early and shift. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, no, it doesn't suck in a sense. I mean, he's helping you out, I guess. Just make sure you get some rest. Sleep is not for the week. People say it, but it's not true. I always eat. Peppers. I oh, freaking love peppers. Hey Whiskey. We're cooking today. That's always fun. Mm. It's fun as long as I don't um, slice my fingers. I have a really bad chopping technique. Because the proper technique for chopping is supposed to be like this. And you use the um, 
use your knuckles to guide the, the knife and do that kind of thing. But I'm so scared. I feel like, I don't know why, I don't. I, I, I know I don't have more control in like this, but I don't know. I, I just like grabbing. Doing this is kind of weird. Maybe if I get into like cooking for the channel a bit better and I'm trying to be an example for people, I guess I'll, um, I guess I'll um, have better technique or something like that, but still. I gotta go to school. No worries, Aaron. Have fun at school. Hey, Brian, I'm glad you're still here. Uh, guys, it's okay. There's nothing to worry about. It's a huge thing, but still. Don't worry. Like I said, if you, if you want to um, shout out or anything like that, just DM me or DM any of the warriors. You know what it's all about here. Um, right, that's done, that's done. There's only one more thing I need to do, really, before I crack on. Um, so when I do my chilies, uh, I usually do a, is that okay there? Yeah, it, when, I do, when I do my chilies, I usually um, do them for like a long time, if that makes sense, like I'll cook them for a while. I feel like when you do chilies, it has to be slow cooked. Uh, it's just one of the things what I'm very particular about. Um, again, I don't know how it's gonna sound either, because obviously, when you're cooking, it makes loads of noise, so I'm not too sure how it's gonna sound. Hopefully, it doesn't sound too bad. You gotta go, no worries, right? It's all good. It depends on what flavor you want. Mm. Yeah, uh, did I complete that? Like, Gordon Ramsay will tell the, the people who are coming down to work for him to, um, Cook an omelette. So apparently, cooking an omelette is a, an amazing demonstration for um, for uh, temperature control, temperature control and controlling the flavors and all that kind of stuff, and making sure you're not overcooking the egg. I don't know about you, but when people cook omelettes, sometimes they overcook the fuck out of it. Where they'll, um, how can I say, they'll do it. But it's not, it's like literally nothing. It's so, like, it's just a sponge. It's horrid. Uh, you've got to try and cook it where the egg is still runny. Come on, that's cool. It's not al dente. I actually can't remember what it's called. If you know, let me know. Thank you for all people who are liking this, by the way. That's super cool of you. Have a great day, Whiskey. Bye, everyone. See you, Ryder. Bye, bye, bye. But yeah, it's um, interesting, really. Yeah, it's better to slow cook chilies because it boosts the flavor. Yeah, exactly, like stew and all that kind of thing. I think anything when it has tomatoes in it, I think that's when you need to like slow cook. I think, I don't know, I might, I might be wrong. Not too sure. I always undercook an omelet. You should, you should. You should be able to uh, fold it up and then be able, when you slice it, you're supposed to press it and then the egg will run out slightly, if that makes sense. But people get freaked out by that. Get, uh, people get freaked out by undercooked, undercooked egg. Omelets are hard. They are hard. Omelets are hard. People don't underestimate this. Oh, by the way, guys, this is a thing that I've been using freaking ages. I hope, I mean, this is like reverse, but I think on the stream it's not. But cooking oil, uh, coconut cooking oil is ridiculously awesome. Like, I use it for everything. I've had this for about two months, and it's, so, it's still like at least two months left worth. It's crazy, but yeah. Now, Again, I don't know how it's gonna sound. I don't know if this is gonna sound good or bad. I'm literally just hoping for the best and hoping you guys can sort of um, be okay with it, if that makes sense. I need to wash my hands. I just realized I touched my nose. Now, you've got to make sure you wash your hands as much as possible. <laughs> because I'm on video. <laughs> Use coconut oil uh, to fry Brussels sprouts is the best thing ever. Have you done Brussels sprouts with bacon? Trust me, that's even better. That's even better. Um, also, also, as I said, I'm lazy um, and I don't want to get like really bad garlic hands, so get this. Get, I don't know, you can get different versions of this, but I'll just get this. Um, it's just so much more, it's so much easier. More easier, you know what I mean, right? Is my camera tilted slightly? It is. So I'm making coconut oil is, has been recently proven to be just as bad as beef fat or butter. Ah, but fat is good for you. Fat is good for you, Mr. Pixel. If you need to know. The reason why 
if, if you ever go back to the diet stuff, um, the companies what designed the diet, I think it was a triangle, where it's like loads of bread and all that kind of shit underneath. Uh, they were the ones who funded that because they wanted to boost their sales. Um, meat, fat, good fat, but uh, blah, 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 blah. It is packed with saturated fat, which can raise, saturated fat is bullshit, by the way. But yeah, um, there's loads of things what's good about it, bad about it, but then you gotta think, what else is it good for? Like, MCT oil is really good for your brain. There's loads of things. No fat, no flavor. Yeah, Papagietti, you get it. No fat, no flavor. And let's be fair, it's all about flavor in the end, isn't it? And that's the thing as well, you know, if it tastes good, it tastes good. Don't know if you can see that. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat that. I will tilt this soon. I don't know how to. I can use the pan uh, handle, hang on. That'll do. Ignore the um, recycling going off over there. Subpixel, are you Australian? I was raised in New Zealand. Oh, were you? I didn't know that. That's kind of cool, actually. But yeah, I, I actually just prefer using coconut oil now anyway. Especially that, it's, it's ridiculously cheap. I think that whole tub was like four pound, something like that, which is stupid. Stupid. Um, what else do I need? Oh okay, yeah, so yeah. Beef, just lean steak, lean steak in the fucking slab. Did you guys hear that massive bang then? I got a few other things as well um, on the outside, which you can't see right now, but still. The only thing about using these is that it, you can't break up the meat that well. You're supposed to crumble it and all that kind of thing, but sometimes it's quite covered. I'll just use another thing and smash the shit out of it. Can you guys still hear me okay? Is it okay? Does it sound all right? Just making sure. I'm such a bloody cowboy when it comes to cooking. Maybe that's what I should uh, call this. Cowboy cooking with whiskey. I don't know. I try and spread it out in the pan as much as possible. And then I add the pepper and all that kind of jazz. Can you, can hear you just fine? Thank you, Aspen. That really does help actually. And again, I don't, I'm, I'm so concerned when it comes to the quality in this video. That's honestly one of the reasons why I'm so worried about doing this, because I just don't know how it's gonna turn out. Um, I need more of this, but something what I always use for salt is this. I don't know if it's gonna capture it. But yeah, the sea salt. It's all big flakes and you just crunch the fucker. Put it like that. Can't believe you're not cooking a chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to cook a chicken dinner if I get it on the game. I win my chicken dinners. I don't cook my chicken dinners. Uh, but yes, yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, now this is a, you, you should not do this at all. But, because you're supposed to keep everything separate on the chopping board. At home, I, I generally can't be asked, And, as long as you cook everything right, it's okay, usually. And I'm only using the bacon right now as flavor. Take it to Flake Town. But yeah. Well, this isn't scary. It's not scary, it's that a lot can go wrong, Mary. But I could burn this food, like, so easily while I'm talking to you guys. I could, um, I could easily slip and cut my finger open and, you know what I mean? That, that's why it's scary. It's not that um, it's scary to do, but still. Disappointed you're not salted like the meat guy. <laughs> Salt bay. Salt bay. I know it's bacon. <laughs> Salting it with fucking bacon instead. I'm bacon bay. 
That's what I am. I'm Bacon Bay. <laughs> have you, have, do you guys follow him on Instagram? He has a really interesting Instagram account, actually. It's not just him cooking, but it, well, it is him cooking. But like, he'll do stuff where he's at the gym and he's doing really bad boxing. Get those views. Should, is that what I should do, really? Is like, I should, I should be like doing the salt bay thing just for the views. Is that, is that what you guys are insinuating right now? Someone mean that. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> just put, call me Bacon Bay. Bacon Dave, I don't know. I just realised I'm using the back of the spoon to fucking stir like an ass. What you making, whiskey? I'm making chili. Chili. When they like almost get completely brown, that's when I start adding the spices in. The main reason I say that is because I forgot to do it. <laughs> Pat forget it, you just gotta keep letting me know. Um, these are my two go-to spices for chili. Um, I ran out of chili powder. Uh, I have a bit, but I've got to like scrape the fucker. But I use these. I think you can see them. Uh, it's extra spicy Cajun seasoning and Moroccan seasoning. Pretty much the exact same thing. Except one has like flaky bits. Oh, it smells so good. God damn it. I mean, I could do... <laughs> Do that, I guess. But I don't know. I think sometimes, you know, when you do slow cooking, you need to put like quite a lot of um, flavour in it. Oh, Emily, you're going? I'm sorry, Emily. Didn't realise. Have a good one, whatever you did. Whiskey Bay. <laughs> How's it okay? Is it okay so far? Is this like not too boring? Are you guys enjoying it? Again, I don't know if I'm going to do like a proper dedicated video to this, as in, um, I don't know how I'll be able to do it, but record it, edit it as well. Um, I, I'm just, it's sort of all off the cuff. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But if you enjoy it, then I might do more. I'm not too sure. Or I'll just do some random, random ass uh, moments, maybe. I don't know. Add the peppers. Ugh, great. <laughs> God damn it. Making me hungry. Good. That's exactly what I wanted to do this for. I mean, I was just sitting and annoying uh, my friend by watching this because she absolutely hates cooking videos. Oh, does she? Well, you're definitely going to hate this then because it's a live cooking video. At least with proper cooking videos. They'll edit it, snap it up, and make it a bit more exciting. Me, it's just a little old me talking shit, <laughs> talking shit, cooking shit, being a shit. Or if it's like a little one. I don't know why, but I feel like having some time would be good today. You need a crock pot. I have um, like a, quite a few things. Because usually, when I um, do chili, I will put it in this pan first, and then I will, um, how can I say? And then I'll get my slow cooker out. It depends on what time of the day I uh, do it though. But if I do it early, then it's slow cooker, because I'll cook it for 12 hours usually. But yeah, uh, those are different color bell peppers, not banana peppers, yeah, that's right. But it's cheaper, honestly. You got, you got yellow, green, red, bacon, beef, me, I don't know. <laughs> Who's actually watching? I'm actually curious about how many people are watching right now. I think there's only a couple, right? Because it's such a random time. I usually do, you know when it comes to uh, jalapenos, um, uh, the meat brown real fast. Yeah, I know. It's because you use a wok. Woks are great. Because the heat goes up to here, if that makes sense. Whereas most of the time, oh God, most of the time in an oil pan, the heat goes there, and then on the outside you can get it, but because there's no 
real like way of keeping the veg or meat there. It burns like a motherfucker. Or you just don't get any heat to it. Trust me guys, get a wok. If you live alone, if you live with someone, if you want to make your life easier, get a goddamn wok. But yeah, I usually um, cook some jalapenos. So you get a flavor from that, but then also you'll, I'll put everything in, like the tomatoes, kidney beans, and that kind of thing, and then I add the jalapenos as well. So you've got the sweetness of the jalapenos, and then you can get the um, earthy flavor from the jalapenos. Talking at me arse again. In one video, I got sidetracked by people taking a tree down. That's probably more interesting than this, I have to admit, but still. I know it's always random things. Hey, that's all good. Honestly, Mary, it's one of the reasons why I did this too. Because I know not many people are going to watch. I feel a bit more chilled, if that makes sense. Like, you know, if it was my number like 20 odd people, 25 people, anything like that, then I'd be going, hmm, I'm so worried about this. Um, and then, this is the only thing I did in advance was drain the kidney beans. Um, reason being they stink and I didn't want to just go off, open a jar and then, well, a, a tin and then do all that kind of stuff. Again, I like putting the kidney beans in before the tomatoes. I just think it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I think it just gives it a bit more flavor. I'm not too sure really. Have you guys shared this, by the way? You should do an ASMR uh, cooking. What's ASMR? I don't know what that is, so I can't comment. Lauren. Welcome, by the way. Have I been cooking for 27 minutes? Holy shit. Oh, thank you, Hennessy. <laughs> All right, pretty much all done now. Um, so if there, if I had them with me in advance, uh, chopped tomatoes, piece of cake. Um, if I had it in advance, then I'd have um, like bay leaves and that kind of thing to add a bit more. But I haven't, unfortunately. So I'm literally, I'm literally doing whatever I can with what I've got. I like colorful food. So I think that's why I like pepper so much. I don't know why. Air it in there. And one more. I'm pretty much done. I'm not gonna lie. I usually taste it for flavor, see if it needs pepper and salt. Um, if it's too spicy, if it's not too spicy, but you know. Aut um, autonomous sensory meridian response. Hmm, how do I do that? Anyone know? Just posting my omelette, nice. Oh, you know what would be cool? I just thought about this. Um, imagine if we could do it where we all cook together. That'd be a really cool idea. But I, not that I'd tutorial with you guys, because I am not a good cooking teacher. But to get to the point where um, we all cook something at the same time, and then when we've done it, we post it and then put, like, like, we take a picture and put it on Twitter. That would be cool. Need to, um, I don't know, I don't know what it needs yet. College Wi Fi cut out, sorry, no, it's Haley. It's pretty good. Need more pepper. Because you got bacon and it, it gets salty. It gets salty. If I do this, give it more. Yeah. Go on and get that pepper. All right. And like I said, I'm pretty much done right now. Get thrifty. Can you guys read this? It's pretty cool. Well, apart from that, I'm pretty much done. Like I said, I'll, I'll put some chilies, chilies. I'll put some jalapenos in it right now. 
by a tiny bit. Just for extra heat. Even though I find jalapenos like this are kind of kind of sweet, actually. Pop, pop, pop. You know one thing I haven't put in? Or have I? No, I've done it. I've done it. I think I'm done. Because now what I'm going to do is like let it cook for an hour, maybe two. Sometimes if it's a bit too thick, what I'll do is I'll get the tin of tomatoes, I'll put um, water in it, swirl around so it's like a sauce, and then pour it. Do not just put water in the fucker. If it gets thick, do not just put water in it. It's wasting valuable flavour. And uh, I think my, I think Malcolm, bless him, uh, I don't know what he's doing now, but he always used to say, um, because he used to swear so much and he used to go whatever you fucking do don't use fucking water for fuck's sake in those words and I remember just sitting there going this man's my inspiration <laughs> but yeah do you guys know that Gordon Ramsay doesn't swear in his actual restaurant his proper restaurants uh, my, my tutor in college worked for him and he said that when you're working in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen he's actually super quiet I don't know if you guys know this or not. You probably do. I'm pretty sure you do. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just his persona, which is kind of funny how it all works. Where's my lid? And then, literally, do this. I'm done. I'm done for like, I don't know, an hour, two hours, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Gordon Ramsay is my spirit animal. He is just an animal anyway, isn't he? Let's be fair. Have I forgot anything? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Tell us what. One thing. This goes out to Mr. Pixel as a request. He must have it like a super salty arm. <laughs> he flavours his arm all the goddamn time. He is the nicest to kids. Yeah, I've seen that video. It's adorable, isn't it? He's a beast. I like him. He does good shows. I've always enjoyed him as a chef. I think he's one of my favourite chefs, to be fair. I don't know who else is. Is it Guy Fiore? Is Guy, is Guy Fiore the one with the um, frosted tips? I think it is. But either way. Alright, um, so that's it. Basically done. Um, yeah, all I've got to do now. Um, this is, I'm not going to be washing up right now, but I'm going to... Um, wash this up i'm gonna play some pubg with pixel um I'm not gonna go live i'm actually just gonna play um and what else i'm gonna do no i'll go from ready for class so hopefully hopefully i will post a picture of it all and all that kind of thing but yeah that's it that's it you know what i'm gonna do to finish off i've got like tape all over this fucker so it doesn't uh anyway hang on a second Professional. Do this. Can I flip? To finish off, this is how it's going to look. And hopefully, how it's going to look. I sound like a blue Peter presenter then. Yeah, this will be it. No disasters yet. Almost had a disaster then. But then, yeah, what, again, got to let it cook though. You've got to let it cook. If you don't let it cook, exactly, yeah. You get to it where it's boiling, like it is right now, and then, as Papa Gietti says, turn that motherfucking heat down. I hate the noise when it comes to this cooker, because it makes a whistle when you got hardly any uh, gas flowing. But yeah, woo, burnt myself. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave a like on this video if you can. If you want to see me do more of this, uh, let me know. I just wanted to chill, I wanted to cook, and I need to do something uh, for you guys. So I will see you later on tomorrow. So I'll be streaming, and what else? Um, oh yeah, I've got a video out, so just check that out. It should be out right now. So check it out, leave a like and all that kind of thing. It's literally a 30 second video, I think. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this was fun. You should do it again. Okay, I'll do, I'll do something. I'm sure. But yeah, I'm gonna have to press finish. But I think if I press finish, it doesn't go straight off straight away. 
I think it's been an option, so I don't wanna say bye yet. If I do go though, bye bye. <laughs> and now, yeah, exactly, it comes up with something. See you later, guys, bye.